Tracking history of objects in a database is critical to all organizations. In 3D Experience, there are several different objects or file types that can live in a 3D space. Additionally, there are a few ways that revisions can behave for SOLIDWORKS files or documents. In this video, the user creates a new revision of the universal joint. The new revision becomes revision B. Users can track changes between objects in this manner from A to B to C. Afterwards, users can select from any revision by using the replace by revision command. The data card shows the metadata to the object. Things like revision and other attributes are seen. Additionally, ECOs or documents can be connected to the SOLIDWORKS file directly within the plugin inside SOLIDWORKS. Let's review revision schemes in 3D Experience. The Platform Administrator can navigate to the Platform Administration Dashboard, Content tab, and Collaborative Spaces Configuration Center. Double-clicking the top toolbar will maximize the widget. Next, select Revision Naming Rules. Here, the Administrator can control physical product for SOLIDWORKS files and document release for non-SOLIDWORKS files. The revision scheme can follow an alphabetic or numeric scheme with specific characters possibly skipped as seen. This tab works in concert with the Lifecycle and Collaboration tab, where the administrator can control the behavior of the scheme. It can be set to either primary, like A to B to C, or 1 to 3, or primary and secondary, like A.1, A.2, release, then B.1 on the next revision. Revisions play a critical role in the database and as such should be set and tested before setting the vault live for many users.